And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC26 meteorologist Matt Hoffman. It was a soggy Saturday across northeast Wisconsin. Here's a look at rainfall totals from today. Nearly half an inch falling in Green Bay, nearly an inch falling in Sturgeon Bay. When you factor in the rain we saw yesterday, some rainfall totals exceeded over two to as much as close to three inches of rain in a few spots, but most areas generally picking up between about one to two inches of rain when you factor in yesterday and today. Here's a look at Storm Shield radar. A lot of the activity has kind of dwindled, but there are a few light showers and sprinkles soon moving into the Appleton and Oshkosh area. But uh, that'll be about it. So once these uh, few showers and sprinkles roll on through, the rest of the night will be dry and skies will actually clear out across northeast Wisconsin. Currently it's 63 degrees in Green Bay. That dew point down to 59 degrees. It was in the mid to upper 60s through much of the day. It was actually pretty humid out there, but now that cooler and drier air is moving on in on the back side of this system. Southwest winds pretty blustery still at this hour. 14 miles per hour sustained at 21 miles. Gust rather up to 21 miles per hour in Green Bay. Temperatures uh, sitting generally in the lower 60s across most of northeast Wisconsin. We'll see lows tonight dropping down into the lower 50s. Winds are pretty blustery out of the southwest. We are seeing some gusts still up over 30 miles per hour in the Watoma area. So winds will remain pretty blustery tonight and then also pretty breezy through the day tomorrow as well. The storm system though has finally passed on by and this Quiet weather you see off to the west, that is what's in store for tomorrow. Some good news there. We're not going to see a big cool down though behind the system. With the sunshine tomorrow and a breeze, we are going to warm things up. But drier air is moving on into the state of Wisconsin, so you will notice that difference. It is going to be a warm one. We'll drop down into the lower 50s tonight. Sunny skies tomorrow will help get temperatures up into the low to mid 70s, a good 10 to 15 degrees above average and then temperatures cooling off as we head into tomorrow evening with clear skies. We do see cooler air move on in though for Monday into Tuesday. Temperatures getting back down closer to average for the middle of the week before temperatures rising to end the work week by Friday. We're at back up around 70 for high temperatures. Here's a look at Skycast. Clearing out later tonight will end the, any rain showers as well. Tomorrow a dry day. Great for all your outdoor plants. Maybe some apple picking looks great and temperatures will be on the warm side with highs in the 70s. Winds pretty breezy out of the southwest. Lighter winds on Monday but still ample sunshine. Cooler air moves on in at that point with highs in the middle 60s. Tonight down to 53 degrees. We'll see some clearing skies out there and then tomorrow lots of sun right around 74 degrees for a high. Also, we got the Packers game down in Dallas tomorrow. It's going to be hot, 90 degrees at kickoff. Here's your extended forecast. We are going to see that cooling trend for Columbus Day into Tuesday and Wednesday. Maybe a few showers on Wednesday as well, but nothing like the soaking that we've had uh, here this weekend so far, but a much drier day in store for tomorrow. Definitely a soggy, soaky day. It was. You appreciate tomorrow though, right? It's going to be like a nice day. We'll wake up and say, ah, finally. <laughs> the sun. <laughs> right? Yep. All right, Matt, thanks so much.